It's another day, another controversy for the Red Devils as Vic continues to play a starring role in their matches. Seven minutes into the game, United fans were celebrating a rare positive start to a Premier League away day. The ball was delivered from a free kick, and the young Argentine Alejandro Gacho skillfully evaded his defender to set up United's top scorer in the league, Scott McTimoni, who calmly slotted the ball into the net. It was a fantastic way to kick off a Saturday lunchtime kickoff. However, the joy was short lived. V announced they were initiating the dreaded check, and the referee for the day, John Brooks, approached the off field camera to review the action. The familiar sinking feeling of another disallowed goal washed over the fan base. But before we delve into the latest V drama, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying our content. Also, please share your thoughts in the comments below. Before today's fixture, Manchester United had already suffered a net loss of three decisions checked by V, making it four in total. According to the American sports network ESPN, United had five decisions go against them before the game against Fulham. Alejandro Gacho, Rasmus Hodgin, Johnny Evans, and now Scott McTimoni became the fourth Red Devil to be denied. Interestingly, during the 2022-23 season, only three teams had more goals disallowed than Manchester United. Liverpool had six, while Bournemouth and Aston Villa had five. In contrast, Manchester United only had two goals ruled out in the league. What are your thoughts on whether VAR is affecting the outcome of games or not? Please share your opinion in the comments below, and stay tuned for more updates. We have some intriguing developments to discuss today, so stay tuned as we delve into the latest news. Rasmus Hodgin expressed his frustration with Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag after being substituted during the Fulham match. The Danish striker was eager to end his Premier League goal drought but couldn't find the net during Saturday's game at Craven Cottage. His disappointment peaked when he was replaced by Anthony Marshall with just over 10 minutes of normal time remaining. Hodgin's frustration was evident as he wore a scowl while joining the substitutes. If you're enjoying our updates, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and give us a thumbs up to show your support. Rasmus Hodgin, the £72 million man, has now played eight Premier League games without scoring a goal. His three goals this season all came in the Champions League. Hodgin wasn't the only one in the starting lineup facing difficulties, Brazilian winger Anthony had another underwhelming performance and was substituted for the young forward Fando Pilist. The match took an exciting turn in stoppage time when captain Bruno Fernandes found space on the edge of the area and scored an excellent low effort, securing a late victory for the Red Devils. This win was a relief for the team, especially after Scott McTimoni's first half goal was disallowed following an extensive VAR check. This victory moved Eric Ten Hogg's side up to sixth in the Premier League standings, and we eagerly await their upcoming fixtures in the Champions League and the Premier League. Rasmus Hodgin will undoubtedly be hoping to end his Premier League goal drought against the newly promoted side. What are your thoughts on Hodgin's reaction? Please share your opinion in the comments below.